What's going on everybody? It's Conti here with another video. How to use the split clips option in DaVinci Resolve 16. Ensure that you have DaVinci Resolve 16 or a later version of the software installed before following the instructions in this tutorial. Ensure that you are inside your cut window in DaVinci Resolve. Left click on the relevant icon at the bottom of the screen in order to open up the cut window. To insert your video file into DaVinci Resolve, go to File, Import File and Import Media. Once you have selected the video from your file explorer, your media pool towards the top of your cut window should contain your file. In this case here, I've inserted one MP4 file featuring Bobby the dog. Left click on the thumbnail for your video, hold your mouse button down and drag this to the middle timeline. Let go of the left mouse button once the blue rectangle appears on the timeline section. The split clips option inside DaVinci Resolve's cut window, which came as part of the DaVinci Resolve 16 package, functions similarly to the blade edit mode tool, which you can select inside DaVinci Resolve's edit window. This tool is utilized in other DaVinci Resolve video tutorials on this channel. In order to make a split, we need to relocate the red indicator on this timeline. We can do this by using the mouse button, by left clicking on the playhead, holding the mouse button down and dragging this across the timeline. Pay attention to the frame counter and second counter in the duration reader to the right hand side of the cut window. A preview of the section of the video that the playhead is hovering over will appear above this also. At present, my timeline only features one video in an entire edit. If I were to make any modifications to this particular clip in any other part of the DaVinci Resolve application, regardless of where my red indicator is located on my timeline here, the entire 16 second video clip will be affected. So how can I use this split clips tool and separate this first 17 frame segment from the rest of the video clip of Bobby? I'm going to keep the red indicator at this point at the 17 frame mark. Note how when I left click on the blue bar, a red outline appears around the entire blue edit, illustrating that it is one whole clip. If I were to left click once on the split clips button with my red indicator at the 17 frame mark, just before the one second point, and this provides two separate edits for the DaVinci Resolve user to edit in the software using other parts of the application such as the fusion window and the color for example. The red indicator can also be repositioned using the timeline window towards the bottom of the cut window by dragging your mouse cursor up towards the playhead where the cursor changes into two triangles one pointing either direction in a horizontal structure, left and right. If you hold your left mouse button down and drag your mouse cursor to the right, the red indicator shifts back to an earlier stage of your video project. If on the other hand you drag your mouse to the left with your left mouse button still down, the red indicator moves to a later stage in your video project and its position is updated on both the bottom and middle timeline sections. Having selected the red indicator as well, what you can also do in order to move along one frame at a time is hold in K on your keyboard and press L to move the red indicator right. Or alternatively with K held down, tap J to move to the left to an earlier section of your video. Each time you tap either J or L with the K button held down, your red indicator will move by one frame. If I now go to the edit section of my DaVinci Resolve software, I am now able to modify both these individual edits separately, thanks to the use of the split tool. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.